What's good, good people? This video is inspired by all the questions that I got asking, how did I get that glow in the back of my window right here? And that's the Multicolor Glow Plate by Wind Restrictor. Now, if you're not creative, don't worry. They have an excellent design team. I myself, I sent them uh, my ideas and let them work their magic. And this is it. So now I'm going to show you how I installed the finished product, my glow plate right here. My hats off to Wind Restrictor. Made an excellent product. Check out the install. Per the instructions, these are the minimum tools required. However, what I saw was needed for me with the LED controller was a wire splicer, a uh, light source. You could use a cell phone, Phillips head screwdriver, and a panel removal tool. So first you lift up that center panel along the waterfall, gently placing the glow plate against the rear window and adjusting the level using the Allen screws. Place the wires down the waterfall. This is where I use the trim panel tool. Then tuck the wires all the way down into the glove box. And then plug in the 12 volt, AKA cigarette lighter end. First thing you wanna do, you wanna remove this top. Then move both seats to the forward position, lowering this low as possible to avoid a headrest to sun visor contact. You only have about an inch to three quarters of an inch of clearance at this position. But once your seats are up, set the seat belts back, detach them. I take this off first. So this step, remove the center trim panel. So you have one red clip, stabilizer, red clip, green clip, green clip. For a total of four clips, one stabilizer. Real easy, this is how it looks. One, two, three, four, five. As with all the panels that have clips on it, it's gonna take a little force to remove the item. Straight up. So now that's removed. Only thing left is, so this is the plug. It's gonna go on the passenger side. Got the red and black ends. So I gotta splice those. Then the LED controller. And what's inside here is RGB remote. Battery's gotta go there. And then the controller. So this side, I'm gonna to have to run the uh, the RGB in the V. So the red, blue, green, and black on this side. And then, and since I ordered the multicolor with the LED controller, where you see the two wires splicing out to connect to the 12 volt, that's not necessary for my step because I have four wires the rgb that's coming from the actual glow plate it's already attached to the glow plate and they will attach to the right side of the led controller and that 12 volt cigarette lighter type uh, wire will attach to the left side right here and to save time let's attach that right now the red and black As with all the panels that have clips on it, it's going to take a little force to remove the item. So what I'm doing right now, I am test fitting just to make sure that um, the item is properly sized and I know exactly where it's going. The two tabs at the bottom, each tab has two Allen screws and that's to adjust the fitment, the balance, uh, the positioning of the glow plate. So as you push it in, it seats itself on the edges. And then this, these two brackets are just to stabilize it, but it seats itself. So it's pretty snug against the window. You just want to push it on there. This is how it looks when it's seated. 
this is to my specification to my window frame uh so yours may be different but just make sure you test fit it so you'll know this next step is pretty simple um you just tighten in the uh, allen screws left side right side just to make sure that you know it's level and uh, properly situated as you want it next thing is to run the wires down the waterfall then we got to run this wire straight down here keep in mind we want to keep the wires as straight as possible because we're going from our present location all the way down to the glove box so use your tool a little pressure tuck the wires underneath the waterfall as we go down to the glove box which is the area above the passenger's left knee and it doesn't take much pressure to get going so once you clear this little curved area right here right underneath my left hand it'll go really quickly because you you can just use your fingers at that point point. and once you get to this portion it's really really easy you don't even need any tools you can just use your fingers and tuck it all alongside and up underneath that center console until you get under the glove box where you'll see the 12 volt connection and then we ensure our 12 volt is connected and it is because we did it earlier on this left side the cord with the cigarette lighter end on it and then the opposite end has the red and black we already connected that so now we're going to connect this right side that's the wires that we just tucked under that center console all four are there so you're going to need a Phillip head screwdriver for this, something to splice the end of those wires, you know, the RGB wires. Then you're going to need a light source, like a flashlight or a cell phone. Cell phone works. Then reposition yourself because it's dark up under this glove box area. So that's it right there, connect it. And this is the destination, right here the 12 volt plug, AKA cigarette lighter underneath the passenger side glove box. See it right above the left knee of the passenger. The package comes with Velcro in it. However, the LED has Velcro attached to the back, which actually sticks to the footwell easily. And that's how I attach mine. I didn't even use the, the, uh, the female portion. Fine. As you can see above my hands, it attached very nicely and holds even upside down. So as you would with any installation, like a simple radio, you want to gather the wires and then just tuck them behind the footwell so it's out of the sight line. Really, really simple. set using some uh, 3m temporary uh, tape that they sent me shout out to 3m so I'm gonna give you some inside shots some outside shots some different angles of the glow plate and uh, I mean you can set the intensity this thing it's cool get you one use my code save some money and get you some vetted merch check the link in the bio show your support show your individuality and style Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
Link in the bio.